this is Linda Keyblade, and we are on part 10 of Fantasy Star 4 for the Sega Genesis. And I know I keep saying the title different ways, sorry about that. Anyway, last time we managed to finally get to the Ladia Tower, and we are now on the third floor where we have found Rune. So, let's head over and talk to him. Rune, so you were here after all. You've come, Chaz. I didn't mention it before, but I actually kind of like this music. It's Rune's theme song, as you probably guessed already. Anyway, you've come, Chaz. Amazing that you got all the way up here with those short legs of yours. Rune, this is no time for jokes. I implore you, give us your assistance. Wow, well, um, he talks rather formally, doesn't he? I guess he need, does when he feels it's necessary. Hey, what happened to Alice? Is something wrong? Well, the fact is... Is that right? Such a thing happened, Alice. But let's not be hasty. As soon as we get the Psycho Wand... Psycho Wand? Yep, I came here to get it. The Psycho Wand is the only weapon that can break through Zeo's magic barrier. So, Rune! The Psycho Wand is supposedly sealed up in the uppermost level of the Ladia Tower. I haven't gotten my hands on it yet. I'm on my way to get it now. Will you accompany me? Once you find the Psycho Wand, I will be more than happy to lend a helping hand. Okay, okay, I get it. And now we have Rune back, and again, I hope I was right about his equipment. I'm gonna kick myself on my... Okay, good, he does have the most up-to-date armor, so we're good. And he's still a higher level than all of us. Not like way higher like when he was first in the party, but still. And I won't be having Rune use his magic this time around because we will be facing a boss, so I want to save it for that. Okay, we got a free escape pipe. That might come in handy. Okay, my... Um, controller went a little crazy there for a bit. That's why I walked past the staircase. Oh, okay, here's some... Now, this will be an exception to the rule I just made. Um, I will be using Rune's Magic against these guys, and you will... And you will probably see why I decide to do that in a little bit. But with that said, I am going to use his Watt spell. That's all we really need. Oh wait, not Watt. Graw. I'm sorry. His Graw spell. See, physical attacks do only one damage. Oh, so do techs. Okay, my mistake. Well, that means that was a waste of magic points too. And now Rika's got a lot of healing to do. Let's see. Cheers, Chaz. Let's have Chaz do a little bit. Pick up the slack some. Um. Grizz. And let's have him cast Res on Rika. No, I think I'll leave Rune alone. And then Demi will... Uh, right, she can't use Technique Skill. Demi, I am going to have heal herself up. There we go. Okay, let's see. Let's go up this level. This is a tricky place because there's like a lot of side routes you have to take to be able to make sure you get all the treasure chests. Um, there's one there out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, one thing I didn't point out about those enemies, they don't really have a lot of HP to begin with, so it's not really that big a deal that they only take one HP damage because like, I think they only have like three or four HP. And this is new armor for Rune, I believe. And 
yep, this is an improvement over the Syro, so let's put it on him. I am not sure how to pronounce that. Is it Frayed Mantle? That's my guess. Okay, I think this is the spot where I saw the treasure box that I could not get to earlier. Yeah, as I said before, it's especially frustrating when you're trying to... Oh, that's in the last item. I got a Stardew, that's a good item. And a Thousand Masetta. What the Stardew does is it can restore HP to your entire party except for Demi, obviously, because she can't be healed by those things. Anyway, what I forgot to point out about Demi's new weapon is that it is able to stun enemies, but as I said before, they have to be live enemies. They can't be robots or any they can't be robots or androids or anything like that. So, but yeah, for living creatures, it'll com it comes in very handy. Gosh, this place is so confusing. I kind of get lost here. Okay, now up to the next floor and... Um, let's explore around a bit here first. I don't think there's anything else up here, but I want to be sure. Yeah, if there's only one enemy, I'm not going to bother skipping that battle because it'll be over in no time, most likely. Okay, there is a box, treasure box up there. Maybe that's what Rune is looking for? Let's find out, because there's nowhere else to go here, so that must be it. Okay, Demi gained a level during that last fight, but um, androids don't learn anything new from experience, so it doesn't really matter. I wouldn't want a meant to look at. Okay, her phone on Mazer still didn't go up, but she did gain one more medical power, which will come in handy. Anyway, let's get up here and... So this is the Psycho Wand. We can now break the barrier. Well, you can. Ha ha ha! This is it! I've been waiting for this moment! Okay, did anybody really think that was going to be that easy? Upon the decree of Zeo, I am taking the Psycho Wand. You're Zeo's underling? Humph, what a brain-dead kid you are. Chaz, don't let him do the Psycho Wand! You don't have to tell me that! Stop ordering me around all the time! Come on, is this any time to bicker? It's coming! Okay, apparently he wasn't going to go without a fight anyway. Anyway, let's see here. Let's start with this for Chaz. And this for... Let's see. No, let's do Deb on first. Um, yeah, let's have... Her use barrier. And what should he use? Uh, tough call. Uh, let's use this. Let's see how this does. Okay, that did good, so I think I'll have Froon stick with that. Yeah, I will say it kind of sucks a bit that 
Grizz doesn't have act any actual attack commands, but what can we do? Anyway, let's have Rika use her double slash and and Demi needs to heal herself. Okay, Ch now Chaz is going to use cross cut since I really should have saved Demi's attack for to use with their slash, but oh well. Probably would have been luck if it actually had done anything anyway. Rika sure took a hit from that. So, yep, we better heal her up. Eh, she's almost out of TP. I hope we manage to live through this. Well, if not, I have Demi's medical power. I keep forgetting about that. But I'd rather just finish this fight without even anyone even dying. There we go! 2,000 experience. That's pretty good. Grizz gained a level. And didn't learn anything, but doesn't matter. Chest has been opened. Psycho Wand is procured. We did it! So long as we have this Psycho Wand, there's no need to fear Zeo. You two! Is anything wrong? Rika, you too! Rune! What's going on, you two? Chaz, we've got to return to Krupp right away. Huh? Get a move on! Get a move on it! We're leaving! Uh, some of the translations is bad. Anyway, Chaz, Alice's condition has suddenly taken a turn for the worse. Oh, that's not good. Alice! Chaz, we're able to meet Rune. That's good. Alice! Alice! Rune, can't you do anything with your powers? The Black Wave is not a product of Zeo alone. It contains an even more evil power which I can't cure. Chaz, don't worry. Chaz. Rune. I'm here. I'm right here, Alice. Rune, please help, Chaz. Rune, don't worry. Leave it to me. Alice. Chaz, come here. Let me take a good look at you. You've become an honorable adult before I knew it. From now on, you have to carve out your own destiny by yourself. Alice! Don't say that! Alice! Chaz, thank you. Alice! You can't sleep? What am I doing, Chaz? In a far off country, before Alice picked me up, I did some pretty bad things. When I joined forces with Alice as a hunter, I was at last able to earn some money and live a pretty comfortable life. Everything seemed to be going fine, but now Alice is gone. Of course I want to avenge her death, but what am I to do? Should I fight? If so, what for? Money, huh? Do you really think that Alice was fighting just for money? What? Is fighting technique the only thing you learned from Alice? 
I... You better think it over. Hey, Chaz. I'm thinking. It was really a good thing that I was able to get out of the bio plant. I've learned so much from Seed. About oceans, mountains, towns, and people. There's a big difference between knowledge attained from studying and actual real-life experiences. Like the smell of the ocean, the blue of the mountain, the bustling of a town, and the warmth of people. Thank you, Rika. I get it. It's okay. I'm going to return to the Academy. I think it's best to report on what has happened so far. I plan to convince the Academy to come up with a plan of action. Good. I'm counting on you, Han. I'm also going to return home. The children are waiting for me. Chaz, keep your spirits up. Okay, we'd better go too. Yeah, that was a pretty bad tearjerker there. I actually did feel myself starting to cry a bit. Anyway, I think this is a good place to stop now. Um, so this is Luna Keyblade, and next time we will be heading back to Zeo's fort. We have a Psycho Wand. We're now prepared to take on Zeo for real. So, I hope you'll join in for part 11 of Fantasy Star 4. Until then, this is Luna Keyblade signing out. Bye!